Welcome back to Attack of the Poison Outputs. Today, we're going to be looking at a severe vulnerability that impacts WoW Narrow's privacy. It was actually found last night. So let's jump right in. Now, for those who don't know, WoW Narrow is a meme coin. It is kind of a sister project of Monero, uh, or in other words, the Doge coin of Monero. And I've always liked WoW Narrow. Um, they have uh, really dank memes. It's a project that does not take itself seriously. Um, and I've even contributed myself uh, some memes. For example, Wow Narrow Chan. Uh, I actually helped uh, commission the artwork to create Wow Narrow Chan. Uh, fun fact. So I had a lot of fun doing that. So yeah, I'm not unfamiliar with Wow Narrow. So it's actually really funny that there's this severe uh, weakness of its ring signatures that was found because I guess nobody just picked up on this. And after like looking myself at the block explorer, it's pretty hilarious that this kind of just slip through the cracks and kind of just goes to show you that this is just a meme coin and no one really cares about using this privately. Uh, if you are using Wow Nero for privacy, I don't know why you would. Um, you should be aware of this. So what I have here is a transaction pulled up. And what I want you to do is pause the video and try to figure out which of these spends is not the real one. And you actually can just by looking at this right here. Okay, so pause the video and try to figure out, try to look and see if you can figure out what is different about one of the spends compared to the other ones. Okay, so uh, I'll give you the answer now. Basically, each of these spends has a timestamp, okay? And if you notice, all of these timestamps are in 2022, except for this one. And basically, it was found out that there's like some bug within the code, and there isn't any... Uh, spends after the date of 927 2022 so therefore if you do have a spend after that date this is going to be the real spend and therefore it essentially de-anonymizes the network for any spends that were made after that cutoff date and so what i did is i pulled up another transaction here and same thing uh, if we look at the timestamps we only have one that was made uh after this cutoff date of 9-27-2022, so we can determine that this is the real spend. Um, so yeah, pretty severe vulnerability. Uh, the good news is the amounts being sent is still obscured by uh, the zero knowledge proof that is built in. And also the stealth addresses aren't uh, doxed either. So we don't know where this is going. Although what you can do is you can follow these stealth addresses essentially and when they appear later in the ring signature, if this bug isn't fixed, then you will be able to pick out uh, that either of these stealth addresses are real because it'll have the timestamp of 12, 14, 2024 20, attached to it. So here's the uh, vulnerability disclosure. It says, um, this report is from Rucknium at Monero Research Labs. Yep, that's right. Rucknium has appeared yet again. Uh, here's a meme to illustrate this that was made by the Wow Nero meme committee. So anyways, it says, I found a privacy vulnerability in WoW Nero's decoy selection algorithm. It appears to affect the current version of WoW Nero Wallet CLI, WoW Nero Wallet RPC, and the majority of non-mining transactions confirmed on WoW Nero's blockchain since approximately September 27th, 2022. An observer of the blockchain can deduce the real spend of these transactions, i.e. construct the true transaction graph with nearly 100% confidence. The wallets appear to choose decoys from the set of outputs only from September 27, 2022 and earlier. So this says that the most recent output in the this ring signature that's linked here uh, is on December 12, 2024. Very likely this is the real spend. The remaining 21 ring members are outputs from September 27, 2022 and earlier. It appears that Wild Arrow's decoy selection algorithm is using a temporal anchor of September 27, 2022 to draw decoys from its decoy selection algorithm instead of using the most recent block with spendable outputs. So then there's some statistical analysis that's done here. Um, and basically, to, just to kind of give you the brief summary here, um, after you know digging through the blockchain data, uh, it was found that 80% of the rings um, can be uh, properly deduced for the real spend, or they can be de-anonymized. It says about 8% of the rings have more than one of these post- uh, 460817 ring members. So after that September 27, 2022 date, uh, likely there is another WoW Narrow wallet implementation used by a small number of users that is creating transactions using a correct decoy selection algorithm. 
So yeah, if you're using one of the aforementioned wallets, got bad news, uh, your transactions are traceable essentially. And as we can see here, the price of Wow Narrow has really not moved at all. In fact, it's gone up a little bit. And uh, yeah, it just kind of shows you that even the Wow Narrow supporters are kind of shrugging it off, just like me. Uh, however, I will say uh, this is pretty embarrassing, the fact that this had gone under the radar for like two years. <laughs> it's I, I, I mean, I guess I've just, I haven't really used Wow Narrow. I think I've only used it once in like the past year. So yeah, uh, the fact that something like this happened and uh, you know the, it really didn't really have much of an impact on the price is pretty hilarious. And it kind of just goes to show you how people uh, think about Wow Nero. It's just a meme coin and the memes are pretty dank. Uh, I recommend checking them out. Um, it's a project that doesn't take itself seriously. So I think someone said this on Twitter. Uh, it's on brand for Wow Nero for this to happen. That being said, it is pretty embarrassing. <laughs> I don't know how this went under the radar for so long. Um, and this actually leads me to a really important point. It's that if you really believe in a project and like, especially if you depend on that project, you want something where people are highly skeptical of it, that are constantly trying to break it and are, are like looking for ways to break it. Right. Um, if you're in a project that's just like, Oh, this is the most private thing ever. It's, it's just kind of scammy. Um, and I see this pretty often with, debates about, oh, our privacy is better than Monero's and, and stuff like that. But I can tell you right now that your project probably doesn't have something like the Monero Research Lab. I mean, these guys are very intelligent. I lurk their chats uh, pretty much every week and I learn things all the time from it. When you don't have like very smart people working on your project, things like this can happen uh, very easily. Or even worse, if your project is being attacked, you want that backup of like smart people who are, you know, going to step in and uh, right the ship. You know, if you don't have something like that, uh, like what's going on with Dero right now, I mean, total, total shit show, right? But the thing is, they don't have a lot of people working on it. So they're kind of left with their pants down. You know, these projects, they, they just don't have that support. Um, so yeah, again, for this to happen a while, Nero is pretty hilarious. Um, hopefully they do have a fix soon. And yeah, I mean, this literally happened last night. I was not planning on making this video, but, uh, yeah, it, things break and, um, uh, hopefully we have a fix soon. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys next time.